President Begay, President Begay Prime Minister Rama, Prime Minister, Minister Rama, Jajka, Minister Jajka, former presidents, former foreign president, ministers, friends. One century ago today, a few years after President Wilson declared at the Paris Conference that Albania ought to be an independent and sovereign nation, the American Commissioner in Albania, Maxwell Lake, had the honor of conveying to Prime Minister Jafer Upi the United States' official recognition of Albania as an independent in recognizing each other Duke, as nations on July 28, 1922, America and Albania built a sacred pact that has been passed down through the generations. During the darkest days of communism, that sacred torch was safeguarded by Albanians, some who paid the ultimate price. And Americans, it was a torch that was hidden, but never allowed to be extinguished. Those of us here today have the great honor of inheriting that torch and holding it high together. Lart, in the Bashku, to warm the friendship between the Sin, and the American and the way forward that on the Rukon Perpara, Rukon Perpara, as we take on Tonta Perbashka, see Mich, the Alata, the century of diplomatic relations, we take the opportunity to honor all the Americans and Albanians who came before us and contributed the U.S. Albanian partners, especially those brave Albanians who paid the ultimate price for independence and for their lives. Much has changed Shum in a hundred years, but here is what remains Por unchanged e and true. The United States has never e wavered from believing kur in independence and sovereignty. Dhe një të dhe we have never wavered ne kur from nuk believing in you. Nga të në we have ne never ne wavered kur nuk from believing le juar. in our friendship. We are proud to support you as you no, broke the chains of communism, a communist dictatorship in 1991. We were proud to support your victory in the world in 2001. Proud to call the leadership and share an office of the OSCE in 2011. Proud to welcome you as a fellow member of the United Nations Security Council in 1996. Proud to welcome you as a fellow member of the United Nations Security Council in 1996. Proud to welcome you as a fellow member of the United Nations Security Council in 1996. George W. Bush, President of the United States, and Frank Lloyd Wright, who has a special place in his heart. I'd like to read you President Bush's message. Laura and I send our warmest greetings and congratulations to the Republic of the Soviet Union. The one who has been the most celebrated from the Republic of the Soviet Union. This special milestone is a testament to the diplomatic and military partnership between our two countries and our two countries. In 2000, I was proud to be the first sitting American president of the Republic of the Soviet Union. Në vitin 2007, isha kërnarë që u bërra presidenti i pari shteteve të bashkuar në dhe tyrë që vizitant të Shqipëri. Laura dhe unë nuk të arëm kur konë që kaluar në vendin të suaj të bukur. Në bën vetë dëshmetarte me kujtë i suaj të sinqerë dhe dhe përkushtimi të tuaj në daj demokracisë dhe mardëneve të forta me shteteve të bashkuara. Kujtë e gjithashtu pasonin të tuaj për shvillim dhe tolerant. Jam i lundur të shohë Shqipërin dhe shtetet dhe bashkuar të kësa vazhdojnë the Albanian state that strives for the liberty of those in need of freedom 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 Një që mbjetor në emisiju Sonja Gjatë, uroje dhe shumë bidet e tjerë të shkëqyër dhe përëntues në vazhdim. Zotë ju bekoft në shkuar George W. Bush. Jam jashtë da kunisht e ndërruar të anjë që të ndaj me ju, presidenti, mesajën e presidenti Bajtin të cilin a i donë të të apërcil të vetë.
to all the people of Albania, I send my best wishes and enduring friendship of the United States as we celebrate 100 year anniversary of our country's establishing diplomatic relations. When the United States defended Albania's independence after World War I, it launched a lasting friendship between our people, a shared love of liberty and of the values of democracy that was never broken even when the people of Albania endured decades of dictatorship. Today, Albania and the United States are allies in NATO and partners working together to defend freedom and democracy in Europe and around the world, including through our work at the UN Security Council. Albania has also made critical contributions to supporting humanitarian and security needs of the Ukrainian people as they defend their country against Russia's brutal war. And I want to thank the people of Albania for your hospitality in hosting thousands of Afghans over the past year. And we look to the future. The United States is going to continue to stand with Albania as you carry forward the work to fortify democratic institutions, fight corruption, strengthen the rule of law, and complete your journey to join the European Union. May our two nations continue to build all that we have accomplished together and deliver a brighter, more hopeful future for our children. Thank you, Ambassador Kim. We'll now be honored to hear from the Albanian Prime Minister, Mr. Gabriel Minister.